Hello from Sweden and welcome to this reading, your next major breakthrough. And I have prepared three different piles with oracle cards. The pile that you feel the most drawn to, that will be your reading today. We're gonna use different tarot decks in each of the piles. And in pile number one, we are using Tarot of Mystical Moments. And this is the Six of Wands from that deck. In pile two, we're gonna use Tarot of the Owls, and this is the Wheel of Fortune from that deck. And in pile three, we're gonna use the Dark Mansion Tarot, and this is the Ace of Swords from that deck. Okay, that is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can just pause the video. Otherwise, you'll find the timestamps shared in the commentary section. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. So we're gonna start by putting your tarot deck to the side and start here with your oracle cards to see what is your next major breakthrough. And you have the eel and iris with safety. Hmm. Okay, you have trust with basil. We have the sign of Scorpio here as well. Hmm. <laughs> the sign of Scorpio makes me think of kind of, you know, that intensity, but I also read like kind of the eel, you know, because it's uh, kind of similar to a snake. It also kind of refers a bit to Kundalini and, you know, Scorpio is all about uh, spirituality, actually. Yeah, very intense. And the eel is a water uh, animal, so connected to emotions. The Scorpio is feeling very deep emotions. So something here with your deep emotions. Yeah, deep emotions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the fire element here as well. So yeah, something intense with your emotions, I think is going to release. Let's see here. Saboteur. Wow. <laughs> okay. Light attribute highlights your fear of self empowerment and the changes and it changes it would bring to your life. Uh, shadow attribute induces self destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. Hmm, saboteur, interesting here. And you have approval. Choose to approve of yourself and others will too. And you have gold, attract abundance. Let me just fix here and make it a bit straight. Yeah, just like that. And the last card here is optimism. So you have the moon in Sagittarius in the ninth house. Ninth house is about knowledge, long distance travel. Uh, so yeah, wow. Okay, so I'm getting a message here. Your next major breakthrough is going to be containing to how you feel about yourself. You know, the eel uh, hides during the day. It, it it goes down into kind of hides in the muddy water during the day and it, it only comes out at night to kind of hunt and to like eat. So it moves through darkness and uh, Hmm, it moves through darkness, you know, Scorpio is connected to the 8th house. The 8th house in astrology is all about, you know, the magical, the mystical, the taboo. Uh, yeah, everything taboo and dark and hidden and kind of subconscious. And, you know, it's about sex, it's about death, uh, it's about uh, other people's money. And, like, a bit tricky things like that, but saboteur approval. Oh, what's going on here? It feels like your next ma major breakthrough is kind of you coming uh, up from those muddy waters. And 
it could have been that you've been hiding yourself because you seek the approval of other people or you haven't been kind of approving of yourself. I feel like you've been hiding yourself, pile number one. So what I feel here is that you're going to stop or you're coming up from those muddy waters. You're not hiding yourself anymore. And it says safety here beneath the eel. So maybe you thought you were in safety by hiding yourself. Maybe you thought you needed to withdraw being that hermit mode or maybe you're just like very careful with who you let into your kind of energy which is good I feel but I feel there is an element of fear here where you're not trusting maybe the divine with the gold here to take care of you so I, I don't I, I'm getting like a lot of messages here so it's gonna be let's see how we can uh, how we can unfold this together but saboteur here makes me think for once it feels like you are sabotaging sabotaging for yourself by keeping yourself holding yourself back in some way and being kind of maybe scared of living your life to the fullest because you have some maybe some experiences in the past where life disappointed you or you went through some situation that hurt so now kind of maybe you're holding people out or you're keeping people at a distance or you are kind of not maybe you're not doing the things that you want out of fear of failure so yeah something like this and I feel like you're coming out of that whatever that is whatever that dark muddy place that you're hiding yourself in I feel like you're coming out in daylight and you're regaining some kind of a trust here and I think that it's like a big breakthrough when it comes to your approval of yourself and your approval of other people and the golden attract abundance here you're not just coming out of the darkness you're also rising up here into this gold energy here with a lot of optimism and you know the ninth house is like I said it's like long distance travel and knowledge you're opening up kind of to to, to expansion you know you have the Sagittarius here you're not just coming out you're coming out to have fun yeah you're coming out to have fun and we have another moon here moon in Sagittarius so what I feel here is like there's a big shift when it comes to your emotions and when it comes kind of to you're a bit of an oddball, <laughs> part number one, I just felt that. You're a bit of an oddball, you have a rich inner world and I think it's very intense at times, like, like you, I think you have like a lot of intense emotions and I don't think that is a bad thing, but I think there has been, like I said, disappointments and situations from the past that has been very overwhelming for you, that has hurt you in some way and this has created some fear in you where you're rather, you're, you're holding yourself back, even in situations when you actually, the best thing for you would to do to like uh, you know when you throw when you get thrown off a horse you have to get back on that horse as fast as possible otherwise you're gonna create some kind of a mind fear in your mind and it feels like here that there, there is certain things that you are holding yourself back for from like I said because fear of failure is what approval here makes me think of so you're self-sabotaging for yourself and I feel like you're gonna stop doing that and I also also feel with the saboteur here it feels like yeah actually look at this <laughs> you're in the air balloon and you're rising high but then you, you look at this this person puts a needle into the high into the air balloon here so she's gonna fall so it's like <clears throat> scared of rising high scared of freedom maybe uh scared of the unknown yeah scared of the unknown it's it's more safe maybe for you to hide in those muddy waters than to go out in broad daylight and follow your dreams and test that new ground and I really feel like there's a big shift coming here I also feel with the eel I also said kundalini you know there was a connection here. I also feel like uh, you have been going through some deep, 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 deep transformation. So for some of you, it's like uh, you've been diving deep into the mud. And uh, if that first scenario didn't um, resonate with you, I think it's kind of like you're coming out of those shadowy transformational work and you're ready to move beyond that into the I mean you have gold here <laughs> gold energy attract abundance followed with optimism and the Sagittarius sign you know the most lucky sign in the whole uh, amongst the whole signs you know it's connected to the planet of Jupiter you know 
and with your moon moon in Sagittarius here, meaning your your emotions are becoming happier, lighter, more optimistic, and so maybe you you had like a, a view of yourself that was not so optimistic. You had a view of other people that maybe that wasn't so optimistic, and I think this comes like I said from past pain and things that you you you, you people did to you. Maybe people did shitty things to you. You know, with a Scorpio here, maybe it was somebody doesn't have to be a Scorpio, but somebody that has was intense you know it hurt you in a very intense emotional way emotionally hurt you so i feel like healing emotional hurt and not holding yourself back anymore is the biggest there's a major breakthrough you know because you your soul wants you to rise now you know and how are you going to attract abundance in a positive happy life when you're scared <laughs> so that doesn't work so i feel like yeah that is definitely going to happen let's see if we can find something else you know with the eel the eel is also a very slippery animal and you know there are also electric eels and I read in some kind of a uh, some folklore or myth I think it, like uh, eels are also connected to kind of tricksters yeah like slippery slippery as an eel so yeah and I but I think hmm some of you definitely have somebody or had somebody in your life that was a Scorpio or had those attributes of being very intense when it comes intense when it came to their emotional language with you and not kind of pure in their emotional language like very slippery person and uh, it could be that you have somebody like this in your life that you're trying to avoid <laughs> with a saboteur because you're scared of them uh you're scared of, yeah you're scared of them kind of I don't know what they're doing to you but maybe you're scared of just them uh hurting you in some way you know it could be a family member or something like that but I feel like this is holding you back the iris is also very connected to hope and trust and wisdom and you have trust here as well with basil so I feel like you're coming out of the darkness yeah you're coming out into the light and you're reclaiming your abundance you're jumping over this <laughs> you're jumping over this and you're like really like there's a big jump here like you were long you were like hidden in that dark muddy waters and now it's like i don't know how you're getting out of this maybe the tarot cards are going to show us but definitely there's a big jump here look at this like you're, it feels like you're jumping from here all the way here i mean that's a big jump you have to jump over all these cards here to get here and uh, so we're going to see what the tarot card says here. If there is, uh, yeah, some kind of a message on how this major breakthrough is going to happen for you. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. I think this one wanted to come. So let's do that. Hmm. Choose to approve of yourself. Yeah, you're going to be more okay with yourself. You're going to be less scared. That's the thing. You're becoming less scared. Hmm less scared and more friends with your own emotions like emotional there's a big emotional healing coming to you that had the, the, like once again connected to past pain somebody i think somebody really really hurt you deeply hurt you emotionally and i feel like that is like a thing that you're healing now and you have king of cups yeah look at that <laughs> wow beautiful hmm so king of cups let's the devil yeah that makes sense the devil and look at that it's like a such a strange uh picture here so we have a mushroom here these are poisonous here in sweden some of some people say actually you can eat them and they give you some kind of hallucinage uh <clears throat> a healing effect i wouldn't recommend it because i i don't i have no idea i know here in sweden it's recommended not to eat them so anyways poisonous mushroom let's just go for that you have a like there it looks like there is a spider that has like pierced itself into your stomach here so solar plexus chakra taking back your power somebody crawled into your solar plexus and hurt you that is what i feel and i don't know when this happened look at the cherry here she's holding a cherry cherries for me is always about the partner you know so it could be or somebody that you're very connected to because you know cherries are two they're two in one <laughs> two together so somebody that you had a bond with hurt you deeply took your power away and maybe manipulated you maybe hurt it hurt you in some way or try to kind of boss over you or take power over you in some way and and this could have happened anytime you know could be the next could be the parent but what i feel here is like the, the, that core wound 
there was a core wound here when this happened with a slippery trickery person here that that made you scared maybe and and, and now you're kind of like you're you're hiding <laughs> it makes you hide a bit it makes you a bit scared of showing yourself stepping into the light maybe it makes you scared of rising too high because you're scared you're not used to maybe rising high or you're scared that something's gonna happen so maybe it's more comfortable to be in those muddy waters at least you know what you're gonna get there you're used to the darkness maybe you're used to the negative things and sometimes we are like that I actually I, I went into meditation I think one day or two days ago so it means meaning I meditate like five six hours a day at least and I, I saw this pattern in myself I was like how my mind was looking for pain I was like where is pain and as soon as pain come up I was like yeah there's the pain and I realized that I like the pain <laughs> so strange so this really resonated with me like holding on to uh, the pain, the suffering, the darkness, the the the, the traumas, because it's there is something comfortable with it because we've been holding on to it for so long. So kind of like releasing it is more like yeah, going into the unknown. So maybe something like this going on. But the devil really shows here that there has been something poisonous, you know, toxic poisonous in the past. And that is, you know, with the spider web here, somebody that you, like I said once again, somebody that you had some kind of a connection with, could even be like an addiction that you are overcoming, an addiction that is holding you back of rising up, you know, to your higher vibration, uh, making it more possible for you to attract all the abundance, you know, and when we have addictions, it lowers our, you know, our mind becomes dull, or our emotions, and you know, when we have an addiction to something, even food, you know, eating instead of facing our emotions, you know, we, we, are, we are escaping our emotions, and we when we keep on escaping our emotions, you know, with social media, with food, with maybe smoking cigarettes or pot or, you know, alcohol or whatever it can be here. We're not letting those emotions flow. And if we don't let those emotions flow or if we don't face all our emotions, they are like kind of, they get stuck in the body and they, they drag, they make, they make us heavy. <laughs> they make us heavy. So, um... But King of Cups here, your next major breakthrough is that you're going to break through this, like a big emotional chunk of muddy, muddy, sticky, wicky, icky, <laughs> dark energy kind of, you know, that kind of has been lodged inside of you somewhere. I think solar plexus chakra here is releasing, and you know, the gold here also, you know, it's like your solar plexus doesn't just turn yellow. The, the, the color of the solar plexus is, is yellow. It turns gold, you know, boom. So big solar plexus healing here and solar plexus and approval. Solar plexus is also very conf uh, connected to self-confidence. So I don't know what happened to you, who stepped over your boundary and hurt you, but damn, you're taking back your power now, pile number one. Six of swords, yeah. <laughs> you're taking back your power. You are moving into calmer waters. And uh, yeah, Six of Swords shows you're leaving it. You are leaving that. And creating a harmony in your life, peace and harmony in your life. Four of Cups. Hmm. Four of Cups. Let's just leave that and let's look at the last card. Eight of Wands. Wow. So yeah. Okay, so we have to look at that. So the first card here that I talked about, the Saboteur. Uh, you know, where you put the needle in the air balloon or maybe somebody else. But yeah, look at you now flying with all your umbrellas. You're even doing a pose. You're like, yeah, look at me. I can fly and I'm not scared. So yeah, you're going to be flying high pile number one without fear. You're leaving that fear behind. And be because you're leaving that fear behind, because you rega regain your power in your solar plexus, you are flying high and eight of wands. You know, it's not just high. It goes fast and fiery and the blockage is gone so you're moving fast uh, and four of cups here could be that you're leaving depression depression and sadness behind there's new optimism coming in here yeah you know look at you you're, you've been a bit sad look at this cute friend so maybe you have a very nice friend that has been supporting you and i just feel like yeah that's so nice i want to cry a bit because i just felt like that was so nice somebody has been supporting you could even be a guide or something but it's done with the sadness look at the, this is kind of the eel energy you sitting there you know feeling depressed feeling sad feeling worried you know 
and uh, wanting this but maybe being scared of going after it or it's not happening it's done with that i feel like you're taking off in the most beautiful pose here you're like yeah look at me <laughs> so yeah new optimism is coming into your life and a big shift in your emotions you're opening you're emotionally opening up for the world literally with the ninth house opening up for the world maybe you're gonna go traveling you want to meet people you want to connect you want to dance you want to have fun and yeah and in this new energy you're attracting abundance you know with the gold you're rising up to gold you're going from a very like dark energy i feel here where you have been dealing with a lot of things you know and you're changing kind of your energy completely. You're you're gonna have like a golden aura. And I mean it like if it looks like it just looks like so much fun. <laughs> it feels like so much fun here. Yeah, so much fun. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> okay. Pile number one. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, pile one, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile two and welcome to your reading. So we're going to put your tarot deck to the side and we're going to start with your oracle cards to see what is your next major breakthrough going to be. And you have Martin and Foxglove with mischief. Thinking about the Norse god uh, Loki. Loki can shape shift and yeah, is a real trickster. <laughs> so, hmm. You have fennel with strength. We have the fire element here and also the Virgo sign. You have father. Okay, interesting. Light attributes, talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light within a tribal unit, shadow attributes, dictatorial control, abuse of authority, it goes very good together actually the fox glove the brown color here hmm very grounded also with the fennel oh entrepreneur we have a number 55 which symbolizes positive change be on the lookout for exciting business opportunities to unfold you know the father is a masculine energy oh you are taking wow you're going after something here i think let's continue just tangerine be spontaneous and have fun. <laughs> Look at that. Orange. And you have Jupiter in Aquarius in the 11th house with innovation. 11th house stands for groups, friends, luck, community. So, hmm. But you know the Martin makes me think, you know, I like the Norse god Loki, you know, after watching the Thor movies and the Avatar movies, uh, uh, not Avatar, Ava Avengers, I think he, they are in Avengers, yeah, Avengers, so yeah, I like Loki actually, and also love the actor, of course, <laughs> handsome man, but that's another thing, <laughs> so anyways, uh, what I feel here is like with the Martin, like uh, high, like very smart, I'm getting this smart energy, I think I just have to fix the cards a bit. Let's see here <laughs> before I start going into your reading. Let's make some room. Let's see, is that good? Yeah, let's just go a bit. Whoops. Uh, so I feel like there is something that's going to take off when it comes to kind of your business. You know, tangerine here, it's so orange here. It makes me think of sacral chakra, something creative and innovation and Jupiter you're doing you're you're reaching some kind of success with some business venture with some some idea with a creative project that you had the father here tells me kind of gives me that masculine energy of taking action so what I feel here with tangerine because it makes me feel like energy here I feel like you're getting new energy and new motivation to finish something that you have started and uh 
with a mischief here it kind of makes like it's been a bit tricky for you to finish this off so maybe you started something and you haven't like fully completed it maybe you started writing a book and then you got stuck or you put it aside or maybe you started painting something and then you like went halfway and then you lose lost your motivation maybe you had an idea and it was you were feeling very good about it then you lost the motivation to follow it through so i feel like yeah you're getting new energy new motivation you're being more spontaneous but it feels like it's like it's becoming easier for you to create this and with the 11th house here innovation you're reaching luck you know with this and your friends are gonna love it it's, it could even be that you are publishing it or you're that you're finishing it off completely and you're showing it to the world and it reaches some kind of a big success so a business opportunity I think you already started this and you're completing this, but it could also be that you're getting the idea or you already had the idea, but you haven't followed it through. So I feel like you're gonna follow it through with strength and the Virgo sign here and the fire sign and, and the sword. I mean, wow, you're gonna completely follow this through. So the fire sign element here tells me you're gonna have, like I said, the energy, the passion, the motivation, the ambition with a father <coughs> card here. Also, you know, the masculine energy, you're gonna take action. Virgo is very good in working you know it's this earthly sign very good in like um organizing thing knowing like okay i have to do this first and then i'm gonna do this i have to finish the book and then i'm gonna you know uh, find a printer and then i'm gonna contact the publisher and then i'm gonna like or like if there's another idea this was just like a suggestion so i feel it's like you're gonna follow a brilliant idea through completely and it's been hard you know with a martin here it feels like your mind has been kind of taking you on detours you know you're doing it like i get like a bit of an adhd mind here so maybe somebody has a bit of an adhd mind uh and you know you start something and then you're like "Ooh, let's do a bit of this and a bit of that and then you forget about that first thing that you were doing but you want to do it but you had a hard time like kind of getting back to it to finish it so i feel like yeah focus is coming here you're finishing it off you're getting the energy you're getting the motivation and in the end with jupiter luck you know aquarius jupiter in aquarius in the 11th house shows me that you're creating something very like unique and specific for you you know there's there is something very innovative innovative with your idea here so yeah following that through you're going to create something very nice and i feel like you're going to reach success luck is on your side but 11th house is also about being popular so you're creating something that's gonna be popular people are gonna like the thing that you did so yeah you're gonna uh, reach success with it i really feel like you're gonna reach success with it and the big thing happening here also is like you're having fun tangerine be spontaneous and have fun you're having fun in the process now maybe you didn't have fun before maybe you wanted just to reach success with it or you wanted kind of to yeah you wanted to reach success maybe because this was going to give you financial this is financial support maybe you wanted to quit your other job you know your regular job you maybe you were putting maybe a lot of emotions into uh <clears throat> this business venture here because you were you want you were you are expecting this thing to give you some kind of a positive change in your life but it could have been that you've been at a hold or you, you the energy stopped because there was so much like I don't know like other things in your life that you needed to deal with it felt like it was just like overwhelming it felt like you 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 didn't have the focus or if you had the focus maybe it was a bit you know maybe you you lost the fun and the passion in doing what you're doing because you know it became like a more driven about you know earning money or a way of supporting yourself you know that can be hard because we have to support ourselves we need money and uh, uh, so there, there can be very tricky there to keep the fun in what we're doing because if we don't have fun in what we are doing we're never going to reach success because that energy is going to come through whatever we're doing kind of you know whatever we are creating we are the biggest brand you know so we have to keep our energy light and happy and positive for our business venture or creative project also to ooze out that positive energy or just like you know being very uh creating it from a place where we are in a good flow so i feel like you lost your flow somewhere or the flow maybe stopped a bit or the flow maybe went a bit slower but you're getting back the flow you're getting back the positivity and and, and and energy i mean look at all these tangerines here we also have a number 17 17 is all about kind of you know 
uh, tells us that you are on the right path. And you know, the one kind of shows us that you are aligned with the flow of your creation, you know? So I feel like you're getting back into, you're getting realigned with some kind of higher energy where I feel like this idea got birthed from, from the beginning, you know, the idea to, for you to create this. And if it hasn't come yet, it's going to come like this. You're going to be in a very good place. You're getting aligned with some creative flow of the universe and you have something within you that you are supposed to do with your life. You know, you, we have creative energy. We, we want to do something with it. <laughs> so you have something that you are meant to do and you're going to be aligned and you're going to do it. And I just feel like, yeah, a lot of success and happiness and this Martin energy is just here in the corner you know this uh, trickster you know shape shifting i was talking about the norse god god loki you know that can shape shift and, and change sex <laughs> so it feels like you're changing sex you know the feminine energy can be a bit uh, uh hmm it just feels like you're gonna adapt you're gonna adapt in a more like i said i kind of liked the norse god loki because uh uh, yeah, I don't know because of the movies. Yeah, actually. So, anyways, but but I think you're gonna be able to adapt more to to work, to the flow. You know, you know, whatever we are creating, you know, it's gonna take time. Usually, it doesn't take you know creating something amazing, going for starting a new business. You know, going for a whole new business venture or an idea. It's not gonna take us like a week or two. If it does, congratulations. <laughs> but usually, it takes some time. And during that process, you know, creating something, we're gonna have all kinds of things you know we have high energy and then we have no energy and then we have a lot of hope and positivity and then we lose it for a while and then we doubt ourselves so it feels like you're going to be able to adapt more something is happening where you where you're becoming more adaptable and, and like keeping that alignment and completely follow following it through so you're finishing it off completely following it through or completely following it through so yeah with a lot of strength with the sword here your mind is clear and stable and focused and i think like the father here look at this father looking with his child at the stars so it feels like a dream coming through so your dream is gonna come true you're just taking off now where you stopped or where you never started <laughs> so for some of you maybe you never started maybe it was just an idea oh look at that <laughs> came out here so yeah you're taking off you're completing it and you're you're, you're seeing a dream becoming fulfilled yeah wow <laughs> Oh, wonderful so let's do one more card here let's take that one okay so we have some nice owl eyes here <clears throat> i'm gonna take a sip of my coconut water mm. and we're gonna look at your tarot cards so Page of Swords, yeah, look at that, <laughs> amazing. So yeah, Page of Swords, uh, pages are all about new motivation. So yeah, your mind is becoming clear again. You're, you're re you look at the eyes even, <laughs> you see how this uh, owl stares, <laughs> like, like, yeah, like I, <laughs> that's so funny. Like he exactly knows what step to take next. So yeah, you're regaining your motivation. Your mind is becoming clear. You know what next step is to take. Knight of Wands, wow. So this reading is super clear. So the Knight of Wands, you know, all the Knights are kind of on a mission. Knight of Wands is the most fiery, you know, wand. He knows what he wants and he's, he's gonna go after it and nobody can stop him. I mean, if he has to climb, a damn mountain yeah we have mountains here if he has to climb a damn mountain he will climb a mountain mountain if he needs wings to fly over that mountain he will create himself some wings so you're gonna do whatever it takes to reach your goal you're gonna have like a, the stamina here you're gonna have the endurance and you're gonna do the effort that is needed and uh, yeah you're gonna do the effort that is needed pretty interesting here because he's holding I, I was feeling like a chameleon chameleon i don't know if that's the name in english could be a lizard but you know they also shift they're also shape shifters so something is shifting shape here so i think i really think like yeah shifting shape yeah but that's the change i think that you're going through you know you you you're changing the energy towards your thing here and that is what is also making it now flow and you're aligned and you're reaching success hmm you got the hierophant okay interesting he only has one wing up wasn't that interesting i guess he has another wing was what a strange card <laughs> only one wing hmm so the hierophant 
I think you're finding a new way of doing things. Uh, yeah, I think this is the whole thing. I think you were trying to do it in one way. And you're you're doing it in a new way. I feel like you're doing it in a new way with more more fun. Just more fun. Justice. Okay, let's look at the last card as well. Justice and judgment. Wow, damn. <laughs> Strong cards with the three three major arcanas here in the end. Here fent the justice and judgment. Hmm. So let me see here what I feel. Yeah, the judgment really shows kind of like how your project is, it was dead and it comes alive again. Yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah, it died and it came, and now it's coming alive again. Or you put it aside, you put it to rest and now it's coming alive again. Or you've been trying to push it, but you could, it, it hasn't gone well. And it's because you, you didn't, you lost the energy in some way. There was like, you shape shifted into a, you shape shifted the project into like a, worse <laughs> like a I don't know like an energy that wasn't flowing so yeah you are it's coming alive again with the judgment and the hierophant also yeah and the justice it's coming balanced with the justice again it's becoming aligned and it's taking off yeah it's taking off I want to take like three more cards here actually so let's do that you have wheel of fortune yeah you know yeah the wheel of fortune was your card that you had on top as well so yeah the luck is 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 changing here and the Wheel of for fortune, fortune is also about movement. So there's change here coming. There's movement and change here coming now when it comes to this. A very positive change, lucky change, expansion. <laughs> and the Empress, I mean, wow, pile number three, two, I mean. <laughs> so yeah, you know, three, I said three, the Empress, you know, the, the Empress is uh, number three in the, um, um, amongst the major arcanas. So yeah, maybe this is a sign for you to watch pile number three. But anyways, the Empress, you know, three is about creativity and three about be is about being the master. Three is about collaborations as well. But the Empress is about fertility, growth, abundance and success. So yeah, you're, you're reaching this now. And the sun, I mean, wow, pile number two, amazing, <laughs> amazing. I'm happy for you that this is coming for you. And yeah, I hope this is my pile. <laughs> I like this. So yeah, a lot of, I mean, Wheel of Fortune, the Empress and the Sun. I mean, and, and beneath it, the Hierophant, Justice and Judgment. The, the beneath card here shows kind of, you know, how it rises up from the dead, how you're regaining the power, how you're balancing the energy, how you're becoming aligned. And here, Wheel of Fortune shows how it takes off. Empress shows how it is growing. Your creativity is flowing. The abundance is coming in the sun. You are basking in the sun you're basking in your success and in your joy and in the popularity you're you know it's nice when people like what we're doing it makes us feel good so you're gonna feel good about this you're gonna feel good about it and I think the biggest thing is for you here that you're gonna feel great that you finished this you finished it you followed it through and you saw it kind of you had something in your mind and your vision I like this you know you had you know you were dreaming about something here that this was going to give you something you had a vision in your mind and now you're going to see that vision manifest into reality and I think that pile number two is going to make you feel damn good you know if it's a book you know you're going to hold your book in your hand and you're going to be wow this is the finished product you know you're going to hold the finished product or you're going to see the finished product and it's just going to be nice you know you're just gonna feel so damn proud over yourself and I think this is I feel a bit touched you know <laughs> it's like a big thing for you I think to follow something through and reach success it's gonna be very healing for you and it's gonna give you a lot of confidence and yeah happiness you know happiness and confidence mm -hmm. Okay, pile number two. This was your reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section. Either way, part two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile three and welcome to your reading. So let's put your tarot deck to the side. And we're gonna start with your oracle cards to see what your next major breakthrough is going to be. And we have the bat and hellebore with intuition. We have lime with luck. We have the water element and also the Capricorn sign. Okay, you have Avenger, Avenger, 
Avenger. <laughs> yeah, Avenger. Light attributes desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society or oneself. Shadow attribute resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Avenge. Avenge something. Hmm. You know the hellivore is actually a very poisonous flower or plant. I think there's like 20 species of them, so maybe it varies. But I think it's very poisonous to both uh, uh, people and pets. Even touching them can create like skin rashes and things. And uh, hmm, Aven Aven Avenger, Avenge. Could you? I think it just felt like you're getting rid of somebody. <laughs> you're getting rid of a person. Intuition. Your intuition has been telling you something about this person, maybe. Let's just see here. Old habits. Wow, interesting. So old habits. An old habit may be keeping you from moving forward. Hmm. Cherry. Live an extraordinary life. I talked about the cherry, I think, in pile one as well. And you have Jupiter in Leo in the fifth house. <laughs> fifth house is about romance, children, creativity. Hmm. Romance, children, creativity. Cherry always makes me think kind of, you know, somebody that you're connected with because the cherry, you know, they come, they come two in one. <laughs> like, yeah, they're two, they're two stuck together. So it feels like you're stuck, something that you're stuck with, something that you have been stuck with, old habits. Out of habit, you've been stuck with something maybe. And could it, could it, could it be a friend maybe? An old friend? Avenge. So strange here. But avenge, could it be somebody like an, like an old friend that is a bit bitter maybe uh, of you? Hmm... Maybe you're holding on to some kind of past grudge, past anger, past grudge, and old habits. This is kind of holding you back from moving forward. Well, what I feel here is that you're moving out of that. Definitely. The bat here shows kind of how you are moving. You're flying. <laughs> you're flying out of a dark tunnel, it feels like, you know. Uh, poisonous hellebore. Even to touch that hellebore is going to give you a skin rash. So it makes me feel like you have a person in your life. Yeah, I think you have a person in your life. And that you've been stuck with in some way. Out of habit. So old habit makes me think like old friend, maybe. Old friend, old partner, like old job, maybe even. And uh, Capricorn, you know, is very loyal. So maybe you've been loyal to this friend person you maybe you've been trying kind of to do your best hmm hmm water element it feels like you're releasing this moving on i think we have to do your tarot cards because it was a bit tricky here and <clears throat> publicity publicity leo so it's like you look at you reaching towards the star you're like yeah i'm gonna go here now so hmm Self-expression. Huh. Yeah, I just heard self-expression, publicity, Jupiter, Leo, like you're showing yourself. You're showing yourself. You're going after an extraordinary life. And to do that, you have to cut, cut off that old habit of yours. So you're doing that, cutting off that old habit. Hmm. The name of a cause. Maybe you're even letting go of, uh, <clears throat> you know, there is a, there is like, a, I don't know, you know, like maybe you're letting go of something that you've been watching or following, like somebody that is, <laughs> I don't know, like with publicity. Yeah, it could have been like you had, like maybe you followed some kind of social media or some kind of teacher. There's a lot of spiritual teachers out there that like, uh, talk about this and that and some of them are not holding maybe the highest vibration <laughs> so maybe your your intuition is guiding you now to like stop following somebody out of old habit maybe watching the news maybe watching something publicity makes me feel like this is something that is kind of you know yeah maybe maybe like something on social media maybe some news maybe something on tv and uh 
like uh, you've been watching it out of old habit but it's kind of it's not making you feel good about yourself so you're letting that go yeah this was definitely a bit tricky so hmm avenger like an angry <laughs> somebody angry with avenger here definitely avenger avenger sorry if i'm saying that wrong half of the time avenge <clears throat> but this makes me feel like you know it's uh righteousness on behalf of society or oneself old habits yeah just this gives me a bit of a like a like an angry bitter grudgeful energy so maybe you have like somebody from your past that is a bit uh Maybe you're letting that go. <clears throat> Maybe you were watching their social medias and they were watching your social media. Now you're releasing that habit. And you're like, yeah, you know, fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to move on with my life. <laughs> Sorry for swearing. So yeah, luck and lime. Detoxing, you know, lime makes me think of detoxing. Detoxing a sour friendship, a sour relationship something was something went sour yeah something went sour keep getting like spiritual teacher with publicity and you know uh yeah there's all different kind of conspiracy theories and things out there i'm not gonna say my opinions because probably i'll get attacked and <laughs> let's not do that so anyways <clears throat> you're using your discernment i feel like with intuition to like release something that was not of the highest vibration and the highest positivity for yourself i feel so the magician yeah i was <laughs> i turned it around i wasn't even like re uh, reacting to it to that so yeah you got the magician here look at his he's looking through his what is this called it's called a looking glass maybe <laughs> i don't know actually uh magnifying glass could that be it magnifying glass looking through that so you're seeing something very clear now you're seeing something very clear something that went sour could be an old habit it wasn't bothering you before but now it, it went sour and so now you are releasing yourself from that i think the magician you have eight of wands yeah look at this so there's a postal woman here so you're getting a message you're getting like there's a insight coming here you know, with intuition, like a big insight coming in very quickly into your mind. <clears throat> and you are realizing that like, yeah, I can't hold on to this anymore. This doesn't make me feel good. I have to release it. And you release it. And by releasing it, kind of your luck changes here. You are moving on, you know, you want to live an extraordinary life. And this sour thing here is holding you back. And uh, hmm, I think this is going to make you feel pretty good. You know, you, you with the uh, Leo energy here, it's like you are becoming stronger without this. So this was something, this sour person or this grudge or whatever it was, it was making you unbalanced maybe. It was making you lose yourself a bit, you know, it was holding you back. So yeah, I feel like you're moving on. Your life is moving on and, and you're feeling better about yourself, you know. You're regaining maybe confidence. So maybe there was somebody that made you uh, made you doubt yourself, made you confused, you know, uh, something like that. Hmm. The fool. Yeah. So there's a big, big new beginning coming to you. Big new beginning, pile number three. Very big beginning here. Hmm. Fool. You got five of cups. And the tower. Wow. Whew. Okay, we're going to take more cards. <laughs> we got the tower. Okay, if we get the tower, we always have to take more cards uh, because we need to know what's going on. Because when the tower comes in, something has... You know when the tower comes? It usually comes when we are avoiding to deal with something or when we have postponed dealing with something that we know we need to deal with you know and it's like something is built up as a tower on a very unstable foundation look how look how unstable this house is you know and and the divine comes here with the, the, the light here with the what is it called the lightning the divine comes here with the lightning hits that tower so the tower can fall and it, it usually it can be a bit intense when it happens but it's very good because it needs to go you know so something needs to go here Five of Cups, something that needs to go is going to be gone. Five of Cups, look at this. This is something from the past here. Something from the past that you, that was sour, 
<laughs> that you had a hard time letting go of because of old habits could be that your mind you know kept going there i know i had i had this as well you know it's like why do i keep thinking about this person you know I, sometimes you know somebody pops up i haven't thought about them in 10 years i know it's because as an telepathic empath you know we can feel when somebody's thinking and you, like an empath we can feel when somebody's thinking of us so i know it's like they are thinking of me and i can feel like when somebody's watching my social medias and i can feel what kind of feelings they have you know but we can make the choice you know of not thinking it's your mind you know it's my mind so if i don't want to have their thoughts in my mind i can push them out i can stop thinking by letting it go so by old habit maybe you know somebody's calling you i yeah you know that's what it how it works when somebody's thinking of you it's like kind of they're calling you they're entering your mind you're picking up the phone when you start talking with them in your mind so it could be that you're like talking to each other this person says this you say this and they say this you know and you have a whole drama in your head with a person you haven't met for 10 years you know it's absurd <laughs> so <clears throat> uh could be something like that uh but yeah there is something from the past here somebody something went sour and uh, you are i feel like you are you are now it's coming to kind of an end where you are releasing this and i say we're gonna take more cards and i think we're gonna do that and i think we're gonna take another deck as well and i have a deck in my mind let me just see if i can find it yeah let's do this one i've been using this no oh yeah i saw another one <laughs> so yeah let's do more yeah let's do more cards <laughs> i have another deck also that i wanted to use so anyways so let's just do three cards here. We are talking a bit about the tower here to see here. Yeah, what's going on? You have six of cups. Yeah, past friend. This could be a past friend, past sibling, maybe even brother, sister, past brother, sibling. <laughs> yeah, probably they are your brother, sister now as well. <laughs> so yeah, somebody from the past, definitely with the six of cups, somebody that you have sweet memories with, you know, you went through something with this person before it went sour, before the relationship went sour. So maybe that is also because it, maybe that is ma what makes it a bit difficult to, why it makes it a bit difficult to release this. There is some bitterness and some grudges between you. You haven't talked Talk thing, talk things out. So there is like some energy that you're pulling each other with, you know. Hmm. Six of Cups, Justice. So yeah, there's a karmic bond here for sure between the two of you. And with Justice here, it shows how you are releasing this. You're balancing this. You're releasing this. You're done with this person forever. I feel. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, this person makes you feel sick. <laughs> and my stomach. I just put my hand on my stomach, and I. I I just felt like a like a like a sharp knife in my stomach almost. So yeah, like a pain in my stomach. So this person or this bond has made you sick, and I would say like uh, uh, sick, worried has affected your mental health, your physical health. With the Avenger, could be for some of you. Doesn't have to be. You know, with the bat here, you know, it makes me think like a bit of a hidden uh, mysterious magical energy it could be somebody that is really like bitter and doing like hexes and, and black magic on you it doesn't have to be could be like only the, the evil eye <laughs> evil eye you know it's like when people are thinking very negative about us that is the evil eye that energy is being sent to us you know they are thinking about us they're watching our social media they're thinking about us they're sending that energy to you without knowing it some people if they know that that what they are doing that is kind of more like doing it that is more kind of yeah, like doing using black magic yeah uh, but uh, even like if they don't know what they're doing, they are sending this energy. So I feel like in that sense, somehow somebody has affected you by just having negative thoughts and feelings about you. But something yeah, happened between you that hasn't been solved. Hmm. So I don't know what's going on with your social media here, but I think you're shining. Publicity, maybe you are reaching some fame here. Maybe that's why you you are reaching some fame you're need, reaching publicity you are out there you're shining you're happy you're beautiful and this is like painful for them to see maybe so maybe it's like this in this situation this person's it intensifies and in this intensification i feel like you are releasing this once and for all you are ready to release this once and for all and just because i put out this deck <laughs> we're also gonna do yes it takes like two cards next to the tower here just to see some last message here. yeah let's do that one and this one yeah okay let's do three cards 
three cards. Yeah, purple here as well. So transformation. You're transforming something pertaining to this person. The emperor. Ooh. So yeah, there's been there's been a war here maybe between the two of you or there's been something here. There's been like egos clashing or colliding or, you know, struggle here in some way. But the emperor here makes me... I like the emperor, actually. I really started liking the emperor lately, you know. The emperor is very strong and confident and non-fearful. And look at this. Wow. Pile number three. Look at this. So you have three lightnings here. Do you see that? One, two, three. And look at the emperor's hand holding the three lightnings. I think, pile number three, I think you're gonna handle this with bravoure. <laughs> Let's see the two rest cards here. I think you're gonna handle this very good. I think you, you are kind of used to this person's energy. And I think it's like, yeah, you're just like, you just need like a, I just heard like a kick in your butt because I saw the fool here kicking, you know? So you're getting a kick in the butt from the universe of just like, hey, just let this go. Just let this fucker go, you know? <laughs> Don't think about this person out of out, out of old habit. And just because they are thinking about you entering your mind, you don't have to answer the phone and having a whole conversation with them for days, you know? Let them be miserable or whatever is going on with them. Keep that energy out. So I feel like, yeah, you're kicking them out of your life. Yeah, with a fool here. You're kicking them out of your mind. <laughs> and Emperor and page of cups wow and with that there is a new um, like a new beginning like you're, you're i don't know it's like they're somehow having them in your life was affecting you you know like i said just their energy so it's like you're protecting yourself kicking them out of your mind uh, is protecting your energy you know so you're protecting your energy now and with that i feel like your aura is becoming very strong your energy starts to flow you're getting new motivation for life you know i think they have been feeding you with some bad thoughts about yourself you know saying that you're this or that you're that maybe you were like that in the past who cares you change you know everybody can change so yeah you change you don't have to hold on to thinking things about yourself anymore and five of pentacles yeah look at that so this has definitely been affecting you in a bad way this relationship sibling could even be parent you know with the six of cups something from the past here definitely but five of cups yeah so you you are and look at this beautiful five of cups actually <laughs> kind of looks pretty nice <laughs> you know it feels like he's walking away you know from something so walking away from prison My, isn't this a prison here damn it looks like a prison so yeah look at this you're walking away from that prison from that bond that bond that you had with this person this old grudge that this sour relationship has been like a prison for your mind and your body and it's making it's been making you sick or it's making been making you mentally unbalanced or emotionally unbalanced like i say here i think many empaths here you've been picking up on this person's energy and uh, this bitter person's energy but you have risen above this now you are ready for living an extraordinary life you are being yeah we don't know what's going on with you but it feels like you are jupiter in leo in the fifth house you are ready for romance you are ready for self-expression you are you are becoming like you're you're you are glowing up you know all the work that you did with yourself you're glowing up you're becoming successful and happy so yeah you you can't afford having this person running around in your mind polluting your energy you know so yeah you're kicking this person out with a lot of power here and with a lot of purpose like yeah purposely kicking this person out of your life with a lot of power and focused energy so yeah uh, and I think you're gonna handle the the tower moment here actually very good So I don't think you have to worry about that uh, Yeah, you got it in you. I mean you got the Emperor here. So pile number three This was your reading wonderful reading if you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel hit that like button If you feel like sharing your story, please feel free to do so in the commentary section Either way pile three. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye <laughs>